I'm Joanne Banco, author, designer, and sewing educator. And you know, when you travel, you can never have too many pockets to store all your stuff. Even pockets that could take the place of running around with your, without a purse, without a tote bag. Take a look at this great travel jacket. It's got lots of pockets and lots of features that are great for travel. Because these pockets are expandable. They're designed so that you can fill them up with all the things that you need, all your necessities, and they'll grow with whatever you put in. So lots and lots and lots of room there. There's two styles. The lower um, one has a, a little bit more detail and has a big pleat to give it lots of extra space. And then the upper one, which is a little bit more tailored and very, very simple, just has a center pleat. Let me unbutton this just for a second so you can see. This one also has room for expansion. So this is based on a safari style jacket, which is a very classic, very classic look. And generally you're gonna find patterns are included for pockets. But I'm gonna show you today a way for you to make your own by customizing it. And I'm gonna even have a free pattern for you so when you visit the website, you'll be able to download that and make the exact same thing I have here. So let me start by just showing you pa um, pocket number one. Done with the actual pattern pieces that come with the pattern, but with a little bit of a variation. The original design was just to make a pleat right in the center, really a little bit more for show, but it doesn't expand, so it doesn't give you that extra room and that extra function. So what I did, I just changed it up a little bit. Instead of folding that pocket um, pleat to the center and stitching it down so that it was anchored, I left it open so that that can expand. And you know, I wanna give you just a few other little tips for um, customizing your pockets. I like mine just a little bit more delicate. So I took my pattern pieces and I trimmed off the seam allowance. So in effect, I took off about an inch to the, um, to the whole diameter of the, of the pocket from side to side and top to bottom. And it just tailors it a little bit and makes it a little bit more, um, a little bit scaled down. So let me show you the steps for making a real true pleated cargo pocket. Very, very easy. You're gonna start by using the, the pattern. And like I said, you're gonna have a free download for that. And you're gonna cut one from the actual pocket piece and one from a lining. Before I go too far though, don't be afraid to skip the lining. If your fabric is firm, this is pretty firm, and you don't want a lining or you don't need a lining, that's fine. You could just hem the upper edge. But once you've cut the two pieces, you're gonna um, use the pattern piece to cut your, your outside pocket and your lining. You're just gonna cut the lining a little bit smaller. You're gonna sew it together at the, at the top edge so that when you flip it, take a look at how that just would come down and that would have a little bit of an of a upper edge so that the, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> wrong way. You're gonna have that upper edge to the inside so that the lining's not gonna come all the way to the top edge of your pocket. All right, let's get started on the actual stitching steps. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn over to the machine and I've got my machine set up for just ordinary straight stitching. Whenever you sew with thicker fabrics, you wanna make sure your needle matches your fabric and you wanna make sure you're, um, you're using a good strong thread. So I've got a good strong thread and I've got a size 16 sharp jeans style needle in my machine. And I've got one side stitched here, but I'm gonna show you how it was done. Again, if you look at the piece here, it's basically got a boxed corner so that we can create a little pleat there at the bottom. So I'm gonna fold this, just simply fold right sides together with those raw edges matching. And I'm gonna set my machine for stitching a quarter of an inch distance from the edge of the presser foot. That's really easy to do by actually setting your width key to 5.5. That'll give you a perfect quarter inch Slip that underneath, and I'm gonna make sure that I've got this set for back stitching. Again, we're gonna set that for 5.5, the raw edge along the edge of the presser foot. And let's, I forgot to back stitch there, so let me raise that up and just pull back. Because you do want to back stitch at that end. You wanna make sure that's all secured. We're gonna sew to where the corner is just a quarter of an inch beyond, pivot, and then sew all the way to the raw edge again. And again, when we get to the end, we're gonna back stitch, press my little scissor key, cut my threads, and there you go. Now you see both of those sides 
match. Now it's time to trim that seam a little bit. So I'm going to take my sharp scissors and I'm going to nip right up to that point because the next step is going to be to turn this right side out. I've got a handy little tool that helps me with that. It will poke out all the edges. By the way, you probably on thicker fabrics are going to want to do a little, little more trimming. Make sure you don't get too close to that point, but make sure you clean up enough of that so that when you turn it right side out, you can push that right out. And then I like to press this seam open. So now it's going to look a little bit awkward, but when you see it come together, it's just another simple matter of making a few folds. So let me take the one that I've already got stitched completely. See again, you're going to push that out and then we're going to press. So take a good look at how I press this. I've got my edges, so, so I have a folded edge. You see how that's forming a pocket. I've got all of the um, points that I stitched trimmed, pressed flat, so they're nice and, and it's smooth and flat. And then I've got my raw edges turned into the inside of the pocket. So check out the raw edge here and the raw edge here. I'm going to do that all the way around the pocket. Simply fold that in, miter it, trim a little bit out if you need to trim a little bit out. And then the final step is going to be to top stitch it to your, to your garment. So we could take this, mark our, our pocket positioning, go back to the machine, and now this time I'm going to move my needle just a little bit closer to the edge there. And I'm going to use this uh, laser that I have to help guide me. So I'm going to move that to the side so that it's right along the folded pressed edge of my pocket. And I'm going to anchor that in place. And you can see why you need a jeans needle because when we get down to this point where we've got all of those folds there, we want to make sure that that stitch is going to go right through all those layers and pivot all the way around. And I'm going to go just about halfway here. I'm going to stop, trim my thread, and show you. Now you're going to be a little bit neater and you're also going to use thread that matches your fabric. But it really is hidden and you see how that pleat just hides all of that extra fold. You've got extra room at the top. You could then do a straight stitch and a top stitch all the way around um, this edge to accent that if you like. And when you're all done, you have a pocket that looks like this. Let me lay it down here so that you can get a good look at it. Look at how much room and extra space you have there. So let's take just another um, look at the uh, garment and check out a few more of those details and look at how great those pockets are. You're going to want to add flaps if you want a little extra security. You could use buttons, you could use Velcro, you could um, use snaps, decorate it however you want. These are convenient pockets. It's a stylish, stylish jacket to wear. Stuff your pockets, have some fun traveling, and leave all your extra purses and bags and totes at home. <laughs>